Here we will see a very interesting and important question from the chapter mathematical induction. Question is prove by the principle of mathematical induction for all n belonging to the set of natural number. Here mathematical statement is x to the power 2 n minus y to the power 2 n is divisible by x plus y. So, let us see the solution here. This is very interesting solution. This is given here and uh, this is mathematical statement which is denoted by the notation P n. Okay? Mathematical statement is denoted by notation P n and this statement is here x to the power 2 n minus y to the power 2 n is divisible by x plus y divisible by x plus y. Let us call it relation number 1. Okay? So, as you know, we can solve this question in three steps. First step, we have to show that P1 is true. Here, to show that P1 is true. That is, we will put n is equal to 1 in relation number 1. Putting n is equal to 1 in relation number 1 by putting n is equal to 1, we will get P1 and we have to show that P1 is true. So, here P1 is putting n is equal to 1. So, this is x to power 2 into 1, sorry, x to the power 2 into 1 minus y to the power 2 into 1. A statement is this is divisible by 8, sorry, divisible by x plus y. Okay. So, this is x square minus y square and this can be written as x plus y into x minus y. So, since here x plus y is a factor, so therefore, this is divisible by, this is divisible by x plus y and therefore, P1 is true. We proved here that P1 is true. This is divisible by x plus y. Now, in the second step, we have to assume that PR is true. Assuming that PR is true. Okay? And we will get PR by putting n is equal to r in relation number 1. So, therefore, putting n is equal to r in relation number 1. So, we are getting here p r this is equal to x to the power 2 r minus y to the power 2 r is divisible by x plus y. We are assuming it. So, let us suppose that if it is divisible by 8, this is some positive integer k into x plus y. So, therefore, let x to the power 2 r minus y to the power 2 r is equal to k times of x plus y. This is relation number 2. Okay. Why we are assuming this? because this is divisible by x plus y. So, x plus y must be a factor. So, some positive integer or some expression into x plus y. Okay. And third and last step, here we have to show that p r plus 1 is true. So, that p r plus 1 is true. Correct. So, here putting n is equal to r plus 1 in relation number in relation number 1 okay in relation number 1 this is relation number 1 so p r plus 1 will be x to the power 2 into r plus 1 
minus y to the power 2 into r plus 1. This is divisible by x plus y. We have to prove it. We have to show it. Here this is x power 2r into x square minus y to the power 2r into y square. Correct? And by relation number 2, x to the power 2r can be written as x to the power 2r can be written as k into x plus y plus y to the power 2r. So, by using this result, here we can write x to the power 2r is x plus y k times of x plus y plus y square and into x square. So, x to the power 2r can be written as k into x plus y plus y to the power 2r, y to the power 2r into x square. This is into x square minus y to the power 2r into y square. Correct? Now, simplify it further. This is k into x plus y into x square plus from these two terms y to the power 2r will be common y to the power 2r and here x square minus y square and after that that x square minus y square is x plus y into x minus y. So, this is k into x plus y into x square plus y to the power 2r into x plus y into x minus y and here x plus y is common here. So, this is k into x square plus y to the power 2r x minus y into x plus y. So, we see here that this expression has x plus y as a factor here. So, definitely this is divisible by x plus y. So, therefore, p r plus 1 is true as as x to the power 2 into r plus 1 minus y to the power 2 r plus 1 is divisible by x plus y divisible by x plus y. So, this is true. Okay? So, it has been now proved and at the last you have to write simply one line statement that therefore, by the principle of mathematical induction, this statement is true for all n. Correct? So, hope you have understood it properly and uh, question is very important. So, you must have some practices of these questions and uh, keep watching my videos and enjoy learning mathematics. Thank you very much.